Hey everybody, it's Delicia, and thanks for tuning into the Cigar Vixen channel. Today I'm kicking it old school, and I'm going to be lighting up this little Padron 1926. Um, this is, of course, a phenomenal cigar. Um, those of you who follow me and know me I've, will probably realize that Padron was the cigar that made me fall in love with cigars, and it's continued to be that um, throughout the entire time that I've had the pleasure of smoking cigars. And so I was super honored and thrilled when I received a cool package in the mail from Miss um, Jessica Padron, the princess, the Padron princess, that um, she sent me some cool Padron swag, some female uh, Padron t-shirts, and this awesome box of 1926. Uh, these are the Maduros. This is four out of five sizes that they come in, which was a really cool treat. And of course, Maduros, which is our, my favorite. So that was really awesome. And thank you again, Jessica, for sending me these. It's truly an honor. Um, but today I'm actually going to let these sit in my humidor a little bit longer because I just received them in the mail. And so I'm going to light up um, the natural. This is the fifth size, actually, that's available um, in this series of the 1926. This is the little baby one. This is the 4x48, but it's a perfect size for, you know, an early afternoon cigar. And so again, I'm going to let these kind of rest in the humidor for probably another week or so um, before I get into them, but I just kind of wanted to take a moment to show you those. This one, however, was given to me in Nicaragua by Rudy Padron, and Rudy is um, a good friend. Him and his wife are incredible people. Every time I go to Nicaragua, I um, usually run into them and in fact on our last trip we had the pleasure of visiting the factory and having the hosted tour by both of them which was a really really neat time so thank you again to the Padron family for all the generosity and the class that you guys really show um, you know throughout the industry and to everybody who has the pleasure of meeting you but all that said let's get back to the cigar itself so the 1926 in case you're not familiar with it came out in 2002 and this was of course to honor um, Orlando Padron's 75th birthday and what a great way to celebrate again I've mentioned this you know on several occasions but I love that about the Padron family is all their cigars and they don't have a ton you know mind you they have a very simple line which is really cool so they ha all the any of the cigars that they do make are always to commemorate something special with the family um, this the most recent one that came out uh, last year was the Damaso which was the first time they used that Connecticut wrapper and again that was to commemorate you know, the, the original uh, grandfather, great grandfather, I believe, that was from Cuba. And it was just, again, everything always ties back into the family, into important dates, whether it's a birthday, anniversary, um, just a celebration of the family itself. So that's always wonderful that they're able to share that with the rest of us. Um, I feel privileged. I don't know about the rest of you, but I certainly enjoy that. So this one, again, is the smallest in that line of the 1926s. They do come in those five sizes that I just showed you. Um, they also are available in the Naturals or the Maduros, in case you didn't know. And if you're not familiar with the line for whatever reason, and you happen to be, you know, out there shopping at maybe, um, I don't know, out of the United States or whatnot, um, you definitely want to make sure that you're buying a Padron that has the, the two bands. So this is something that um, I don't think I've touched on before, but because these are such fabulous cigars, um, they run the risk of being counterfeited. And so they both they will always have these two bands. So their lines are gonna have, you know, the beautiful Padron emblem on them and then the name of, you know, whichever, whether it's the 1964 or the 1926 or any of their anniversary or birthday lines. Um, and then underneath it, there's a second band that if you read it really up close, it just says that it's, you know, guaranteed that it's a Jose O Padron, that it's you know authentic, and it always has a serial number on it. So that's just a little pointer for anyone who is again not as familiar, maybe buying it from a you know not trusted source kind of a thing. You just want to double check that. But um, anyways, this one is a beautiful little box pressed baby, and it's a Nicaraguan puro, featuring some beautifully aged tobacco. I'm just gonna use my finger to do a little hole here. So even on the dry, you know, the dry taste, um, you get those little bits of cocoa and you can definitely tell that you're going to have a little bit more spice. Um, now, again, I've smoked this cigar too many times to count, but it never, um, I never get tired of smoking it. So I'm going to get it lit up here. This flame is a little bit, I just refilled this thing. Let it calm down for a second. Look at that. It's 
Definitely don't want to char this pretty little baby. And I love that they always light up so easily. It's perfect. Always a nice even burn. Hmm. Yeah, so right away you pick up the cocos, you pick up a little bit of, um, a little bit more of a pepper. Um, I noticed in, in particular to comparing them to the, the 64. Um, this one has a little bit more of that black pepper on it. Um, it's still really smooth and you still get a nice mixture of the cocoa. There's a little bit of a sweetness that comes from it as well. Um, almost more, I know I mentioned the cocoa, but you get a little bit more of that chocolatey kind of sweetness from it too. So just a phenomenal cigar. I'm going to smoke it down, of course, as always, and I'm going to check back in with you for the second, third, and talk to you about some flavor shifts that are coming. So getting into the second, third, as you can see, smoking like a champ, uh, beautiful burn line, nice amount of smoke output, uh, beautiful ash as well. Um, flavor wise, wonderful. I'm getting lots of different, you know, coffee notes, some cedar, really more um, heightened on that cedar and chocolate. Those are like the two most pronounced things that I'm getting. There's a little bit of like kind of a light roast coffee um, and a hint of pepper on the finish, but that's pretty much, you know, the nice little balance in between, you know, a little bit of that was going on in the first third, but definitely on the second third, it's the cedar chocolatey notes. So beautiful. And of course I'm going to smoke it down a little bit more and I'm going to check back in with you for the last third and let you know what's going on. So down to the nub of the last third, flavors are at their peak actually. Nice combination of cocoa, caramel, a little bit of coffee. In the back there's that muted little bit of black pepper, but it's pretty subtle at this point. Um, just really enjoyable. The overall strength, because I forgot to touch on that, is um, pretty full. So this is going to be a nice one to get you in a pretty mellow state. Um, Definitely fuller than like the again that 1964 cigar. So this one again is a little beefier <laughs> You could say but definitely on point with the flavors the construction perfect um, just a very enjoyable cigar, so um, I always urge you guys to try the cigars for yourself, but especially this one it comes highly recommended So get out there if you've never smoked one and get it if you have smoked it get some more stock up the humidor but as always Thanks for watching and see you next time.